viewers, this is Tutaka Pemwa once again from Fountain School Kasama. Okay, I uh, will take you in CTS and if you remember very well last time what you looked at in CTS, I'm sure you discussed about food, what food is, and the importance of food to us humans. Okay, so today I want us to look at uh, a lesson that is based on food and nutrition then it will be just a little bit different or away from what you looked at last time. So, uh, before I introduce the lesson that I want us to look at, I would love you to just answer the questions that I have for you. The first question that I want to ask you is that, uh, the first one, what is food? What is food? Then, the other one, mention two sources of food. If you do that, then the third one, the third one, give at least three examples of those two sources of food that you mentioned in question two. So the first one, what is food? The other one, mention two sources of food. And the third one, give two or three examples of those two sources of food that you mentioned in question two. So if you've done that, then you, you have even completed the whole lesson. So the lesson is based on those questions that I've asked you. Okay, so today I want us to look at the sources of food. I want us to look at the sources of food. Okay, now maybe for you to understand better, you have to know what food is. What is food? If you also answer that question, then there is no need of me presenting a lesson plan. Maybe for the sake of presenting, I would love us to discuss together so that we can know what uh, this lesson will be basing on. Okay. Okay, like I said earlier, I want us to look at the sources of food. Okay, you discover that there are only two sources of food. Now, what are those two sources of food? And I asked you a question to say, what is food? What is food? Have you found your answer already? Okay, in simple terms, we can say food is anything that can be eaten or drunk and gives us nutrients. Food is anything that can be eaten or drunk and gives us what? Nutrients. Okay, let's write that definition on the board. Okay, so we are saying food is anything that can be eaten or drunk and gives us what? Nutrients. Okay. I know out there you might be wondering to say what are nutrients and what does he mean by saying drunk or eaten? So anything that you can put in your mouth and you confirm to say it tastes nice, that is food. Anything that can be eaten and gives you nutrients, that is food. Anything that you can drink and gives you nutrients, that is food. Now what are nutrients. Nutrients, these are small things that are found in the food that we eat. Once we eat the food, we are going to get nutrients from, from the food that we've eaten, which will help us to have energy and also to protect our body from diseases. So, nutrients are small things that we cannot see. We can say, yes, I'm eating maize, but what you're going to get from that maize that you're eating are the ones that we call nutrients. Okay, now, moving on, we've de defined what food is. Now, I, the, the, the second question which I posed was he mentioned two sources of food. So, there are only two sources of food and these are There are only two sources of food, and these are
we have no plant source okay so that is the first source of food so we have no plant source now under plant source what are some of the food that we can get under plant source of food what are some of those things that we can get from plants then we eat and gives us the nutrients what are those things that we can get from plants okay maybe let's take a look at this chart okay we have different uh, kinds of fruits as well as the vegetables from there so if you take a look at these they come from what from plants so under plant sources of food we have the first one is saying apple then we have a pear then we have watermelon we have orange we have grapes tomato bananas we have strawberries, we have cherries, we have pineapples, then we also have we have capsicum, then we have musk, melon, we have pumpkin, we have cones. Now under cones, this is where even maize fall under. Then we have eggplants, then we have cabbage, we have radish, we have peas, we have potatoes we also have cucumbers so these are the things that we get from plants as the food so under under plant source we have the following just like we are from discussing on that picture we have The second source is called animal source. So under animal source, we have different things that we get from animals. Some of those things that we get from animals, or let me say food, we have uh, we have beef. beef. We get beef from the cow. Then apart from beef, we also have wool. We also get pork from a pig. Then apart from these two, we also have room. We also have what? Eggs. Eggs are also gotten from what? Animals. I know there you are thinking of uh, a chicken. Not to be an animal. It is an animal. Okay. Apart from eggs, we also get We also get cheese from animals. Apart from cheese, we can also get Okay, we can make sausage from animal animals. Then apart from sausage, we can also have wool. We can also have what fish. Fish is the food, and most of us we usually consume this. 
So these are the two sources of warm food. Remember, we started by uh, explaining or discussing what food is. We say food is anything that can be eaten or drunk and gives us what nutrients. And from there, I said there are two sources of food. I said we have plant source as well as the animal source. Now, under plant source, we discussed that under plant source, we can get different foods from plants, such as the apples, cucumbers, chili, mangoes, pumpkins, sugarcane, oranges, cabbage, as well as the beans. So, these are some of the foods that we can get from plants. And coming to animal source, under animal source, we can get beef from a cow, we can get pork from a pig, we can get eggs from chickens, from ducks, and other birds. We can also get cheese from pig. We can make sausage out of the same animals. We can also have fish from the rivers, from the lakes. So these are some, I'm not saying these are the only ones, but these are some of the foods that we can get from animals. Now, I would love us to take a look at uh, a chart which is going to explain more about uh, these sources. So, uh, <coughs> okay, so just like we've been discussing, we started by defining what food is, and we said food is anything that can be eaten or drunk and gives us nutrients, then we said there are only two sources of food. It's either you are eating food that you got from plants or from animals. Now, under these two sources of food, here it's saying not, we only have two sources of food, namely plant and animal sources. Now, under plant sources, we have sugar canes, we also have pumpkins, we have beans, we have maize, we have cassava. We can make from maize and cassava, we can make meal meal from there. We can make cassava meal meal, we can also make maize meal meal. Then coming to animal sources, we have different things that we get from animals. Let me say different foods. Now, the first one saying we get milk from animals. Apart from milk, we also get beef from animals, we also get pork, we get eggs, we get cheese, we get fish, as well as the butter. So these are some of the foods that we can get from animals and these are some of the foods that we can get from our tea, from plants. Okay. Now, before I say goodbye, I would love to leave you with an activity that you are going to answer for me. This is an activity that has been prepared for us. Well, the first question is saying, what is food? So we are going to explain what food is. The other one is saying, maintain the two sources of food. You need to write two sources of more food here and here. Question three, give two examples for each below. Give two examples for each below. A plant sources of food. So we're going to write two examples for plant sources of food. B animal sources of food. You also need to write two examples of animal sources of food. Okay. Uh, I think that this marks the end of our today's lesson. This has been Tishaka Pemboa taking you through science and CTS. I'm saying bye bye.